Hey, what's going on? Welcome to BK's Talk. This is Crystal, and you also have BK's Corner. Same the same thing, all three together. Um, I just finished class, and I just wanted to say something because this weighed heavy on my heart. And all this is basically about what happened in Philly yesterday about the young man, Walter Wallace, who was shot and killed by, I don't know, the Philly PD, if you want to say. And it's hard to grasp because when I saw the video, a friend of mine posted it on Facebook and I saw the video and it was hard to watch because I really didn't know what I was watching. I just saw someone get shot. I'm like, what's really going on? So I played it again. And in the video, you can see The young man had, I am can't. I'm not going to say for certain because I couldn't really see from the distance I was watching, that he had something in his hand and his mother was trying to, you know, de-escalate the situation, trying to hold him back. And the cops shot him. And from my understanding, they said it was a knife he had in his hand. The thing is, Y'all have, have guns. Y'all have guns. And the thing is, what happened to the tasers? What happened to the pepper spray? What happened to all the other things that doesn't cause deadly harm that you could subdue him? And I'm not sure how the 911 call went if they knew that they was coming to a situation where the person was involved had mental illness and they knew about that firsthand. That part I do not know and I'm unclear about, but you can see that something was wrong with this guy. He wasn't in his right state of mind. But why is it always the in factor where you have to pull out a gun and end someone's life? Because, you know what I'm saying? I understand you could be afraid, but keep your distance. You can tell that something wasn't right. So why should you kill him? This man needed help. This mother called because she needed help. And the thing is, as a mother, you know, because I'm a boy mom, it hurts. You know, you want help with your child, but you didn't want your child's life to end in no way. No way, you know. And then it hurts because I couldn't grasp the sit there. You know, you see it now on all the feeds. All the feeds, you see this. And... It's scary because, you know, it brings me to tears just to think about it, to watch it. Because I have a lot of friends, they have sons. They have sons. And it's scary. That's the that's something, you, as a mother, you don't ever want to see. Like, that's something you don't ever want to witness. Is someone taking your child's life right in front of your eyes. And I feel for his mother and I feel for his family you know, in his community, because that's nothing that we need to see or even happen. Like, there needs to be a special task force that needs to be in every police department when it comes to mental health. That actually needs to be established. Someone who, you know, who's equipped to deal with anyone who has mental health issues and what's going on, it's sad. It's a sad situation. I'm going to follow up to see what's going to happen because most likely nothing's going to happen to these police officers because nothing ever does. They're not going to hold them accountable for their actions. And this is why it's important to go out and vote. This is why we advocate and we want reform in the, the police department because these special incidents, these incidents, especially with someone who has mental health issues, has to be dealt with with care. You know, you was there. You was called there to de-escalate a situation, not to take someone's life. And you know, this is the part that we we're faced with, we're dealing with, and we're fighting for. And there's nothing is happening. It's the same shit all the time. The same shit. Nothing is being you know taken care of. And then to think right now with his mom. Oh, when she screamed out, I, I felt it. I mean it. It resonates all through my body because you as a mother, especially any mother out there, whether you have a son or a daughter, you understand. You felt that pain because there ain't nothing you want. 
we try to protect our kids because we love them. We want the best for them. No matter what they go through. Because our love for our kids is unconditional. I don't know about you, but I know for me, it's unconditional. No matter what they do, you know, we just hope for the best. We try to guide them and steer them in the right direction and hope that everything works out. Especially when they get to a certain age. But the police department is going to have to do better. They're going to have to work something out on this because these are... These are Incidents that's happening, especially with people with mental health issues. You need to know what you're walking into. And you need to know how to deal without deadly force. Because someone who has those issues don't deserve to die. Because these are issues that they battling with. They in their own prison with inside their own head. And then the fact is, here you go. Because you don't understand. If you don't understand, you need to back up. Try your best to de-escalate it. Find other tactics to sit there and subdue him without killing him. That wasn't deserved and it was not at all. There's no justifying in that. Because if someone who's battling something in their mind, whether they're on medication, whatever the situation may be, because I I can't speak on what his state of mind was, but I, from my understanding, he battled with mental illness. And the thing is, when someone dealing with something like that, That comes with caution. That comes with discretion. You have to find other ways to deal. And I'm not saying put yourself in harm's way. I'm saying find another way. There's always other ways. You know, back up. Tire him out. Call for backup. So, therefore, you're in a position where you know you're safe. And you can surround him where he doesn't hurt no one else or himself. You have tasers, you have pepper spray, you have other things that y'all have on y'all that you can try to use. You know, I don't know what goes on in a police training. I really don't know. So I'm not going to say, oh, this is part of day training. I don't know that. But what I do know is that this is, this is sad. This is not the way we shouldn't have to deal with situations like this because... It should be another way. I know it has to be. They need to have some type of. This is me just talking. Throwing suggestions out there. I'm not no medical mental health professional. So I'm just thinking out loud. And where you have a task for where you have maybe police officers or a special force. Where even if they're out there and you don't want to have a person that's a psychiatrist, therapist, whatever, in harm's way, they need to be in their ear and be able to have vision of when they're in this, when these cops are in this situation and help guide police to find a better way to de-escalate the situation by using their words and certain, you know, I I don't know, because it has to be, but this can't be the end result every single time you deal with someone who has mental health issues. Where you sit there in in their life because you don't understand. You know, somewhere, I don't know, something got to give. You know, I would like to know everybody's thoughts on this because it's sad. It don't make no sense. You know, it's, I, I don't know what to call it. I really don't know what to call it because as a mother... And there's a lot of mothers out there. And we love our babies. And especially with the babies that have, you know, that have issues and they struggle with. We try to find the best way to navigate and guide our children and find ways to make things, you know, work, whatever, whatever situation is. But sometimes we in situations that that we can't foresee or You know, and all the mother wanted was help. Just help. When does wanting help end in death? She didn't want that for her son. She wanted help. And y'all came here and became the Grim Reaper. Nah. Prayers, I have prayers going up for for his mother. Because I pray that God give her strength. Hold him, hold her in his bra- embrace because I don't, I don't, mm-mm, that don't sit well with me. Not at all. Not at all. And I know a lot of mothers out there, this don't sit well with you either. 
I know a lot of people who have children or know someone who struggles with mental health. This don't sit right with you either. And I just want solutions, you know. I can sit here and bitch and moan about all the problems that this world has. But the thing is, I ain't got time to bitch and moan. We ain't in no, in no safe zone where we can sit here and worry about, oh, this ha- it happened. We know this ain't nothing new. What are we going to do now? Where's the solutions? Where's, you know, I need some answers. We need to actually have answers, you know. And I'm not no politician. I'm dealing politics. I can see what's, you know, out there and everything, whatever, and have my comments and opinions about it. But something has to be done. Something has to be put together. Things have to change. And best believe I'm going to get out there and vote. Trust and believe that because this is not right. And then my thing is a follow up has to come because even though we vote, work still has to be done. And I just need some direction on what that is. And if you're a person that's in that field and working, you know, consistently and have made movements or trying to make movements and pushing it, let me know. I want to see what I can do to help because this is ridiculous. This don't make no sense. Well, you know, this is BK's talk. I just want to get that off my chest and share a little bit about how I felt about the situation. I don't know what everybody's dealing with because it's like every week is something new. Every week is something new, you know, and it's not fair, it's not right. And then I don't know what to do. This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. I'm tired of our people being a target. I'm not nobody's target. My son is not nobody's target. My friends are nobody's target. My family is nobody's target. We are not targets to nobody. We human just like anybody else. And we need to be treated as such. Even people who have mental health issues need to be treated as though they're human. That they matter. And they should. Well, I don't know. Um, Like, share and subscribe. Leave a comment. I would really like to hear your thoughts, how you feel, you know, any suggestions, whatever, if anything. I would like to hear solutions. I'm tired about the problems. The problem's always going to be there, but we need to have solutions so we can eliminate some of these problems. So, I'd like to hear some feedback. So, hit me up. Later.